Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is your girl, Dallas Gordon with EcomCashQueen.com, your e-commerce business coach and marketing success strategist. Welcome in, guys. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today, we're going to be talking about three success tips to explode those Pinterest results. So yesterday, guys, last night in my private Facebook group, Mastermind Group, we talked about Pinterest, how to set up. Uh, a basic Pinterest account, a business uh, Pinterest account, and just five simple steps. We rolled right on through. We got it set up, and I also gave some extra tips for optimization and to get some quick results, guys. So if you miss out on that training, I want you to request to join that group, bit.ly forward slash ecom cash, or you can search for the Ecom Profit Tribe on Facebook and you will find that group, okay? So some rock star tips were shared last night for how to go ahead and jump start your Pinterest business account. It's not as hard as some people think. So guys, sometimes I think that we are afraid of the unknown and that stops us from going into new places, treading into new places. But treading into new places is sometimes what it takes for us to get to the next level, right? Good morning, Tammy, welcome in. So, like I was telling you guys before, these Facebook streets and these waters are getting a little wavy. They're getting a little shaky. One of the best ways to overcome that and to just be at peace in your business is to diversify. Good morning, Julia. Welcome in your business strategies. Diversify your business strategies. Basically, don't put, like my mom always say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread them around a little bit. So Pinterest is new waters for a lot of people. A lot of people don't really understand how Pinterest works. So that's kind of like why they don't tackle it. So if you don't understand how Pinterest works, this week we started out over on Instagram Live. I talked about why your business needs Pinterest. And let me just sum that live up. Basically, your business can't afford not to use Pinterest. There are billions of users over there. You don't have to interact with them. You don't have to do broadcasting. You don't even have to post. You simply click a button and you pin your images to the platform and the images do the talking, okay? You just have to have really good eye-catching images, okay? And the platform does the rest of the work for you. It is a great platform for free traffic, guys, so you've got to get over there. And it's simply awesome. I think my comment was lost. So I don't know if Chris is on here, but I need her to pin that for me. I might have to keep pinning that, just putting that in over and over. So it's all good. And then yesterday, like I said, guys, we went through the whole setup. I went and I, I basically created a brand new Pinterest account for you guys in my private group last night. So like I said, look up the Ecom Profit Tribe, get on the inside of there and get that training because I left up the replay. So today, guys, we are going to run through three tips. Three tips for your ultimate success on Pinterest. Let's start with number one. The number one tip, guys, is consistency. And it's just a tip with business anyway, right? If you're not going to show up consistently on a daily basis and get into a routine and give something into the platform, it's going to be hard to get something out. Very little is required to make it happen over there on Pinterest, but you've got to put it on your to-do list so that you can show up consistently. Your consistency is so important. And also in my course that's coming up, which I want to pin in the comments, it's up there, guys, okay? bit.ly forward slash Pinterest dash clinic and the number one. I'm going to be taking a group of students into a group coaching session, my very first coaching clinic. And I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and some secrets of how I blew up my Pinterest account, some advanced methods. So grab your spot. It's at the early bird price right now. Only 37 bucks. It's going to go up next week, guys. So grab your spot. But consistency is key. And I'm going to be teaching you in that clinic how you can actually automate your Pinterest account. So you don't have to sit there every single day and do it. I'm going to be talking to you about automation tools. And for those of you, my students, who did get the Pinterest Masterclass last quarter and you haven't signed up yet because you're getting the, the clinic for free, hint, hint, y'all need to get your spot 
okay? And I put the information in the private group so you guys can upgrade, okay? So my Pinterest Masterclass students, hint, hint, make sure you grab your spot in this clinic, okay? So consistency is key, guys, just showing up every day. One good way to be consistent if you don't really want to pay for automation tools, add the app to your phone. Y'all know we all connected to our phones these days. Add the app to your phone and interact, okay? You want to be interested in the platforms that you sell on, <laughs> Julia. You want to be interested in those platforms. So keep the app on your hip and just start pinning things that you're interested in and creating boards on the go. I do it on the go. And I think that it's really important to learn to grow a love for the platforms that we're on. Like if you absolutely hate Facebook, like you hate how it's made up, you hate that you have to share stuff, you hate that you have to post, like it's just so unnatural for you and you literally hate it, I don't know, maybe it's not the platform for you. Even with Pinterest, it may not be for everybody. But if you absolutely hate the platform, you can't stand pinning up things you can't stand scrolling it's just something you hate and it's just disgusting to you that maybe it's not the platform for you pick a social media platform one or two or three diversify that you're going to be interested in because what you're you're only going to get out of these platforms what you're willing to put in these platforms hello so if you don't show up you don't interact you're not high-fiving anybody you're not liking any of the content and doing anything but just promoting your stuff, you're not going to get results. So consistency is key, guys. Pinning a little bit every day. Put yourself on a pin schedule. I'm going to pin five items a day. I'm going to follow two people a day. It could be small. I'm going to pin five items a day from my store. I'm going to pin another five just from other users on Pinterest. And I'm going to follow five people a day and create one board a day and fill that up with 10 pins. I'm going to do this every day, Monday through Friday. Saturdays, I'm not. And another little tip I want to give you guys is find out what the peak hours are for Pinterest. Go out there. The stats are out there. I believe it might be a certain time of the evening, like between 5 and 9 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. Find out when the peak hours are. The stats are out there and pin during those times so that your pins can get the most steam. Right, so get on there where it's worth it. So my first tip, guys, is consistency. And until Chris gets back on and she can pin my comment, I'm going to post it again. And that's the, that's the oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, I think she just came in and pinned it. Thanks, Chris. So, or Jamila, whoever did it. So, um, okay, so consistency is number one, right? And intention. Intention is number two. Be intentional. Now, as you notice, if you follow me for a while, I give away a lot of the same tips for business. I'm like repeating myself over and over again. Julia said Saturday, 2 to 4. Oh, you Googled it, girl. <laughs> and my, my comment was not pinned. Chris, can you pin this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I pinned it. So I can be quiet about that. Julia went and Googled it, y'all. Saturday, she's giving the times. Come on, y'all. Get your pen and paper, thanks, love, and write it down. Saturday, what did she say? Saturday 2 to 4, Saturday 8 to 11. These are hot times, y'all. These are hot times to pin your comment. And in this clinic, we're going to be talking about the, the peak hours and how to automate that process, okay? This is a training you can't miss, especially for 37 bucks. You're getting a one-on-one -on -one experience with the Ecom Cash Queen for 90 minutes, 37 bucks, and a seven-day support group and a replay. Who does that, okay? Make sure you grab your spot before I raise the price next week because your business needs this. <laughs> your business needs some, some diversity in marketing. What is that $37 going to do for me? It's going to get me some gas in my car. I'm going easy on the price so I can get my early birds in and we can rock it out this year. No man left behind. Julie is still putting those times in there, y'all. So take a look. These Pinterest users, they like the weekend and they like nighttime because they're hardworking people and they are big buyers. Some of my most high ticket clients, my highest ticket clients, my highest ticket buyers of products come from Pinterest. I have over a billion views a day on my boards, guys. And I think it's quality over quantity because I don't have a thousand boards. I know I have under 50 boards. But it is quality under quantity. It's the same thing like I teach my Amazon students. It's so funny to me how people will avoid 
getting a coach and they will try to figure it out themselves and cheat the coach and then come back later. That's another story. A lot of that's going on. I tell my Amazon um, students, guys, it's so important that you focus on quality over quantity. You don't need 500 listings to succeed. You don't need that. A short 50 listings was making me 20K plus per month. 50, 50, quality over quantity. Hey, Nakia Ray, welcome in. It's all about getting yourself a good coach, getting in position that you can shadow them and learn the tricks of the trade. Get in position, learn the tips and make it happen for yourself. Make it happen for yourself, right? So intention. Number two is be intentional. Don't show up to the platform and mind, mindlessly just be pinning stuff. Don't just be mindlessly pinning stuff. Show up with intention and let me give you some tips for that. Here's the thing. Lots of us are limited on time. We ain't got all day to play around and high five on these platforms. We need to get that work done when we get on these platforms. So when you get on the platform, be intentional. What do I mean by that? Don't just follow anybody. Follow pinners who are actively pinning the type of content that you want spread. Guess what? That helps them to do the work for you and for your business. Get connected with pinners. There are influencers on Pinterest too. Get connected with pinners who have large followings and lots of boards, okay? Who are pinning the kind of content that your followers like and want. <laughs> Jamil's like, no way, hello. Get in position, be intentional, be intentional. How else can you be intentional? <laughs> I get it because honestly, Pinterest is distracting. It is distracting and honestly, it's not so bad that you sometimes mindlessly pin because that shows that you like the platform. So if you're just pinning things that you like, that's okay because you also want to be one of those users, right? Because Pinterest is going to send traffic to accounts that are active eBay is the same way. Hello, Julia. Woo woo. <laughs> Hello, she didn't tell she got the Pinterest course. So eBay is the same way. Who else is the same way? Facebook is the same way. Guys, they're going to send traffic to you when you're more active. It's called algorithms, right? They're looking for users that are more active on the platform, and that's who they're going to send the most traffic to. If you only come into Pinterest to share stuff from your own website, you're not interested. You're not doing much else on the platform. You're only showing up one day a week. Do you really think that your pins are going to do well? Mm -mm, they're not. Okay, so intentionally follow pinners who are pinning things that your audience would like. Intentionally follow pinners who are active. They got boards. Their boards are packed. It's obvious that they have tons of followers because you know what? When they see that you follow them or even maybe sent them a message, hey, I would love if you would follow my boards. I love your Pinterest account. Why not, right? When you do that, your pens get steam. You didn't have to do anything. So a little tip, extra, I'm giving out a lot of bonus extra tips that I wasn't going to share today, but what's helped my Pinterest account to get over a billion views a day. And some of my students have seen the insides of my Pinterest account, so they know what's up, okay? It's because I collaborate. The power of collaboration. I connect with pinners who got the juice, y'all. I don't try to reinvent the wheel. And I, sign, I join lots of group boards. And we will talk about that in the training. I join lots of group boards and I get lots of steam. There are hubs out there that you can join where people are pinning each other's stuff. And it's just a big Pinterest world out there. So you gotta get connected. That way you don't have to do all the work. We talk about the power of collaboration all the time, right? These are just basic, and the, and the tips I'm giving you are basic business tips that you can apply anywhere. To any business they work for every business right the last thing is get in the know get the know-how so many times we try to piece information together and we try to figure it out ourselves when there's an expert right within our reach for for probably pennies for probably coffee money that we can just get in the right position to learn 
I said last night on my training, I'm going to say it again. In 2018, this is the year of expansion. This is the year of growth. No man left behind unless you choose to be left behind. So it's really, really, really important that you get on the train while it stops for you to get on. Once that train leaves and it starts moving, it's going to be really, really hard for you to get on that train. What do I mean by that? Pinterest right now to have a business account. They allow you to read your analytics. Do you know how powerful analytics are, guys? If you don't know, you need to get acquainted. Your analytics are going to help you to hit your target, okay, on the bull's eye. Because you're able to read information about what your visitors are doing. What are they clicking on? What are they interested in? What do they want? Analytics are a quick way to learn what the people want and to capitalize upon that. Pinterest gives you an insider view of what people on your Pinterest boards are doing. What are they repenting? How many visits are coming to your website from Pinterest? Pinterest is giving you guys all of that information for free. For free. Every time you pin something from your business, your logo is going to go on top of that. So they're basically watermarking your information for free. So what am I saying? The train has stopped for you to get on for yet another year. It's free to do all of this. I want you guys to stop what you're doing and get on that train before it leaves. Good morning, Pastor Charles. Welcome in. Get on that train before it gets out of here and leaves you in smoke. Because once you're in smoke, everybody, it's going to be too late. It is free. That's right, Jamila. People wait. You know how people do? They wait until the last minute. So I'm saying to you guys that it's time to get on the Pinterest train. What you doing? Why are you not promoting your business? Why are you not promoting your products? When you could get a billion views per day for free, what are you doing? I'm saying I want you to do this so bad. I lowered my price to $37 a seat where it's going to be open. You're going to be able to say, hey, Dallas, use your voice and ask me questions in a group coaching setting and get seven days of hands-on support. Who does that? No one, I promise you. Okay, because I want you guys to get ahead this year. Get your business out there. Get seen. You don't need to depend on one platform. You don't need to pay millions of dollars, thousands of dollars with ads. Exactly, Pastor Charles. Get on the train while it's moving. You know the importance of that. A lot of people like to wait until the very last minute to take advantage of stuff. Oh, you know, when my business gets bigger and I have more time, then I'll use Pinterest. And then by then, you're going to be sitting up complaining that you wish you had jumped on a long time ago. Get on things when it's hot. Don't wait for the steam to run out and now you want to get on the train. Nothing is promised to you. Tomorrow isn't even promised to you. Tomorrow, Pinterest could be dead. Hello, look at some of these coins and stuff that we're investing in and how some of them have quickly lose their value. Nothing stays around forever. When it's time to move, move. Don't ask questions. Get it done. <laughs> Get the job done. So those are the three tips, guys, I wanted to share with you today. Number one, consistency. Show up every day. Even if it is small actions, just take small actions consistently every single day. And you will see a difference in your life and your business. Number two is intention. Be intentional. Just don't be showing up on platforms. Just doing stuff to be doing stuff. Have a reason to your rhyme. Okay, why am I following this person? I, and, and, and these tips, they go across all platforms, seriously. Even Facebook. I stop accepting friendships from people who don't have profile pictures or who have all pictures of the land and sea and all they're doing is, is, is spamming their page with links. I'm not friending nobody like that. You know why? Because nine times out of ten, they're not going to end up in my tribe. They're not going to end up being any, any assistance to me because they're afraid to show their face. I can't engage with somebody like that. So I stopped accepting friend requests from people like that. I started accepting friend requests from people that I thought we could connect with, that we could grow, that we could actually collaborate and build a relationship with. I, start, <laughs> I started being more intentional. That's right, Pastor Charles. Some of these profiles are crazy. And we wondering why when we post something, we get two likes. I want you to go and look at your friends list. Who are you befriending? Be intentional. Who over on Pinterest left to stay on point? Who are we following? 
You didn't follow somebody that got one pen. And you wonder why nobody follows you back. They're not watching their notifications. They're not interacting on the platform. Stop following people just to be following people. Stop friending people just to be friending people. Stop attending everybody's stuff just to be attending everybody's stuff. Be intentional. And I promise you, your life and your business will grow. Okay, number three is get the know-how. The link is below. I don't even need to sell you on $37, guys. I need to see your face up in this group coaching clinic so you can get your business on the mat before the Pinterest train leaves and you left in the smoke. It's that, it's that simple. I need to see you guys up in here. So the link is below. Pinterest, it's bit.ly forward slash Pinterest dash clinic one. The number one, the clinic is kicking off on January 27th, the morning of my mama's birthday. Okay, it's gonna be for 90 minutes. Seven day support group. Replays are going up to $67 the end of next week. And all you're getting is a replay. You're not getting no support group. You're not even going to be face to face with me in a group coaching setting. You'll be able to talk with me and us to hash it out and us to figure out what your issues are with Pinterest. Okay? So, guys, thank you so much for being here today. Love each and every one of you. Be blessed. Make it happen today. Be prosperous. Go forth into your day boldly and expect something great to happen because I promise you it will if you expect it. Um, have a wonderful, blessed day. Once again, guys, this is, thanks, Pastor Charles. This is EcomCashQueen.com. Dallas Gordon, your e-commerce business coach and marketing. Do you hear my voice? Do you hear my words? I'm, st I'm saying crazy stuff. Let's start again. I can't end like this. I can't end tongue tied like this, okay? EcomCashQueen.com. Dallas Gordon, your e commerce business coach and marketing success strategist. If you've been struggling with your traffic and sales, I'm here to help you to get noticed, get traffic, and get bank. I am a proud wife. I'm a mompreneur of three, and I am a success motivator. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Thanks so much for coming out today. Bye.